Good morning and welcome to my second PhD vlog. I didn't get much footage so it's going to be a bit of a short one today, but I hope you still enjoy. I start the day off as usual making coffee. The past couple of days have been a little weird as I'm still very fresh into my program and have trying to set new habits and come up with a schedule for my day that works for me. It is nice to have that flexibility though as I can shape my day according to my energy which doesn't always follow the traditional 9 to 5 kind of work day. As I drink my coffee, I'm just doing a bit of brainstorming. I find that writing things down and making connections between different concepts has been really helpful in trying to make sense of my topic and what I've been reading so far. And next I pack my bag to go to uni. It'll be my first day in the lab and I'm kind of excited for it. So this is my desk, uh, it's been used for storage by the lab, so there's a bunch of random stuff here. But the view is nice, and it looks like I just escaped the rain as I was coming in. My first task is to set up my computer and clean the desk. It looks like it hasn't been touched in years. And finally I'm ready to work and I start by doing some reading. Once the rain stopped and I had enough, I went for a walk through campus to meet my friend in her fancy building. And after lunch I decided to work on the modules. I ended up completing the main one and I got a little certificate to show for it. I felt like I accomplished something today so I decided to go home and enjoy the rest of my day. I'm back home now. I got home at three and now it's about quarter past four. And yeah, I haven't really done much between now and home. Just <laughs> scrolling on my phone. And yeah, I feel quite tired. I don't know if it's because I'm not having enough sleep or just trying to go too far. And I think also it could be because I'm doing a bit of a half day here, half day there and the act of like traveling or the act of kind of interrupting my work to travel to uni might uh, take up quite a bit of time so i'm wondering if it's better to instead just do a couple of days at uni a couple of days at home or another option would be to continue what i'm doing to an extent and then maybe take wednesday off and then instead have a day on the weekend where I'm studying instead. So yeah, I don't know, I'll have a think about what might work. Of course I can always try new things out and see whether they work for me. I started a new embroidery project which I'm kind of excited about. And for dinner my boyfriend and I went to this place where you can make your own okonomiyaki. It was actually a bit more complicated than we first thought but it was fun and quite yummy. 